They were asking me to go live. All right. Oh, yeah. It says uh, upcoming live 12 a.m. Okay. It says upcoming. Okay, I'm live right now. All right. All right. Sorry, I, I apologize, guys. You know, I was, I have to reset up this. So, again, uh, for those who are listening right now, we have our brother here who spoke to Ali Dawa. And Ali Dawa, he spoke to him for what, an hour and a half, you said? Yes, hour and a half. And then Ali Dawa, look how dishonest he is. He posted in YouTube only not even half hour of the conversation. Why he did not post the whole conversation? I assure you he cut all the things which he, which you said, which make a good point. And he kept what he think it worked for his benefit. This is why yeah, because when you speak to Muslims, I advise everybody, not only you, always record your conversation because you know they will record you and you know they will play games and they will cut off what you said. So next time, if you do ever speak to him, record the whole conversation. Go ahead, my brother. Oh, yes. I was just going to say, uh, Christian Prince, that, um, yeah, because, uh, guys, excuse me, like I said, we're, we're new Christians, and uh, if I said anything wrong or whatever in the beginning of the video, just excuse me. I'm learning from you guys. But at the other half, after half an hour, I directly attacked Islam because when it comes to defending Islam, the Dawa guys always try to bring the Bible. They never answer the question. So then he started getting upset. That's why he made a video, because I got under his skin, because I started digging at the Quran. But yes, yeah. go ahead, brother. Can you share with us some of the point you said to him, make him upset? Um, I don't remember exactly right now, but I was telling him about the, um, uh, oh, uh, it, it was a thing I talked about before, and uh, he was telling me I didn't have a, a point, and uh, he brought up some super stuff. I don't remember all the stuff. Uh, and next time I will bring it up to you. But one thing I will say is he said that he lives two hours away from Birmingham, how he has Birmingham manuscripts to prove uh, the Quran is true. I said, dude, you never even read the Birmingham manuscript. It's about the seven sleepers of Ephesus, which is a Christian poem that you stole and fabricated into the Quran. You're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I said, you stupid. I said, you never even read it. What are you talking about? That's Islamic. That's nothing Islamic. And, uh, not only you know, that, not only that. Actually, the story in the about the seven sleepers. There's a guy. He's a Kurdish. I don't know if you saw the video on YouTube. A Kurdish guy. He spoke to uh, Ali Dawa. He asked him, "Okay, so now the Quran speak about the seven sleepers. How many they are? Until now, nobody knows." <laughs> yeah, because the Quran says that we don't know how many they could be. Eight, nine, ten. No one will ever. So what's the point? So what's the point? They are asking you about the seven sleepers. Say. Only Allah knows their numbers. <laughs> so, so what's the point of the story? <laughs> like, did you even... So, the whole story is, they are asking you about their numbers. I mean, is it a secret weapon? Allah don't want to share with us the number of, of how many people, you know? So, just tell them that, that you know, that, that, uh, tell them that's, you know, what they are six. Tell them they are seven. Tell them what the number... Still, nobody knows what their number. And look what the, at the end it says. Only Allah knows their numbers and few. They, re, they knew the real number. <laughs> 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 what a hilarious, stupid book. Only few, brother. Really? So what the number? <laughs> so as long as few, they knew. Okay, why you don't tell us the number? We are waiting. So they are, so imagine you, you, you drive... 10 hours to go to meet Prophet Muhammad and you ask him a very simple question. People of the cave, the seven people of the cave, how many they are? And look, Muhammad, because he is not sure what to say. He say, okay, brother Thittar, them they say to you, no, that, that, let's just go Zach and I. Brother Thittar, first of all, Christian brother died to you. Some they say they're three and they're the book in number four. And some they say they are four and they're the book in number five. And say then that's six hundred number 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 seven. And say then that then that they are seven number eight. And no one Allah knows what their number. And a few people only. Like what do what hold on? <laughs> this is a mess. First of all, how in which language you say they are three and their dog is the fourth? You don't say that in Arabic. You don't say that in English. The dog is a dog. You say three human and one dog. You don't say three. <laughs> there are three and their dog is the fourth. Is the fourth. Not even number four. Is the fourth. The dog became a human. 
Then the stupid Muhammad, he copied the story wrong. In Arab, in the old story, the word it says in Aramaic, Kali Ahum, not Kalbahum, Kali Ahum, which means their provider. This is an angel. This is an angel. This is why this angel he was opening his arms to protect them. Have you ever heard, like, you know, in the other day, <clears throat> a Muslim called me here and I said to him, uh, do you say the dog, do you think dogs have two hands or he have four legs? <laughs> he laughed at me. He said, stupid question. <laughs> dogs don't have hands, man. They don't have arms. I said, are you sure? <laughs> you know, I said, yeah. <laughs> He said, well, your Quran says the dog have to have two hands. <laughs> and then he said, let me explain to you. Look, what the heck? A second ago, it was a stupid. <laughs> a second after, let me explain to you. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so, suddenly the angel in the story, it's an angel. Suddenly, the angels, they become... A dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen carefully, Muslims. Those people, they are running away from a king. Even your tafsir says that. You want to kill them because they become a Christians. How a dog is going to protect them from an army? What kind of dog this dog? Can give me his name. <laughs> I want to get one. So, it's they, they are... They are, you know, they are running away for their life. And the dog, he opened his arms. And look at the Muslim false translation. It says, dog is stretching out his paws. Where it says that? It says, Basitun zira'ihi. Basitun zira'ihi. Do you see it? Zira'ihi. To his two arms, his two hands. So, the, the, the stupid Muhammad, because he is knowledgeable, the angel became a dog. <laughs> And by the way, isn't it in Islam, dog is najis and filthy? So how those are good Muslims and they have a dog with them? Isn't it Allah said, the Muhammad said that Allah will take it from your deed for every day you have a dog? He's with them, sleeping with them. But he opened his two arms. By the way, this dog is the most famous dog in history. <laughs> Allah in heaven. He wrote about this dog. I mean, he must be an honorable dog from a good family. I think it's a ro royal family dogs, you know. And the funny, by the way, Muhammad last name is dogs. Do you know that? <laughs> Seriously, Muhammad last name is dogs. Ibn Kilab. Muhammad Ibn Qusay Ibn Kilab. Last name is Kilab. Dogs, not not dog. Kilab, which means dogs. Wow. Yeah, and he married, what make it more funny, he married Zainab bin Tujash. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. <laughs> what a royal family, man. <laughs> That's messed, that is messed up. <laughs> you know, I don't know, you left Islam, I feel sorry for you. I mean, you will laugh at what now? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I hope you know. Tell your wife to stay away. You will not have an endless penis now. What you will do? <laughs> I mean, the only God in the world who promised endless penis is Allah. This is a proof that He's God, <laughs> because only through God can make your penis endless. You, uh, who, look, <laughs> Abraham, <clears throat> because according to Muslim, by the way, anyone he's a prophet, he have to have a good penis and he have to be powerful in sex. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, he said that he go and do boom, boom to all his wives in one night. <laughs> no break. But then you notice that Abraham was no better. Abraham, he have a very big one. So when he decided to do circumcision, he used an ads. Look at this. I mean, this guy is 80 years old. And he is using an ads to cut and trim his penis. What kind of penis he have? <laughs> is that a trunk of a tree? <laughs> I mean, where Muhammad, he, Muhammad, he is saying, you know, Muhammad is talking that such, everybody shut up. You know? <laughs> uh, am I heard in YouTube, guys? Am I heard? Oh. 
Yeah, um, we, we just started YouTube right after he did that, so yeah. started to make it little clips. I, I just made a video about, uh, I even spoke, uh, asked him about this too, which is, um, which is like, I feel like it's just, uh, it, it just cracks right then and there. I said, dual carnet, if you pay attention to chapter uh, uh, 18 of the Quran, it's yeah. a Christian Syriac story, stolen word for word from 80 to 100, those verses, and I showed the actual, um, the Syriac Christian translation of the, the, the book that they have, and you can see the verses as matches the same, the Gog and Magog story and the whole wall. If you have the links for those, if you can post them so people they can read and learn too, if you have it, if you have a link for it, that oh. would be good. Yeah, I do. Yeah, all right. So if you please post it so people they can read it and add it to their uh, their favorite. Yeah, everything Muhammad he have obviously it is it is a stolen from somebody. This is why in the Quran, chapter nine, verse number sixty one, it says that Muhammad is an ear. They did not call him that word for no no reason. He is an ear, which means anything he hear, he copy it, he put it in his book. We have Abu Hanifa, Abu Hanifa, go ahead, Abu Hanifa. <coughs> Maybe this is ultimate fault. Go ahead, Abu Hanifa. <coughs> you got a Muslim that reverted. Just shut up, trashy low class. Go change, go clean the, the wall behind you, you idiot. You look like a donkey. I mean, when you open your camera for me and I saw the shit in your wall, I could not believe it that you are a human being. Go, go. Shame on you. I thought Muslims are clean. The Prophet, he used to take a shower with dead dogs. What are you doing? You are taking a shower with who? Dead walls? Dogs in the walls? Potato. Come back, come back. You know, I will if you put your hand up, come back, I will kick you out. I love it. <laughs> so in the Quran, it says 961. This is a very trashy person. He has a very filthy mouth. That's why I don't want to hear him here. Uh, so here it says, they say he is an ear. He is a hearer. In fact, no, in Arabic it says he is an ear. What they mean? He hears stories, he put it in the Quran. Tell him any story. If, if Muhammad, trust me, if Muhammad saw Tom and Jerry, he will make a chapter that's called Tom and Jerry. He heard the story of the flying carpet, he put the flying carpet. It, um, I would like to say, brother, isn't it crazy how uh, he 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 got that guy's head chopped off? The physician, I think his name is Nadir Ibn Al Harid, because he exposed him and said that he was copying stories. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, the Muslim books <laughs> is the best way to prove Muhammad to be a fraud. <laughs> what he posted for you guys? Look, so you have a you have a channel yourself now. Yeah, we just started it like two weeks now. And this video I did here, I, I show where the people can click the links or buy the book uh, where you can see the verses and the Syriac so you can All see right. after word for word. All right, guys. So if you want, you can subscribe to his channel if anyone like. As you see, this is his YouTube channel. You know, you can, yeah. you can join it there. You can subscribe to him. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Well, I'm glad that you left Islam, and I'm happy for your wife too. And we pray to the Lord that you will have a beautiful family. And you know, remember in Christianity that you love your wife, and the wife, she loves her husband, and love never fail. No lying, no cheating, no double standard. A good man, a good woman will present a good family. A man who lie, he will not teach his family to be a good family. A woman, she lies, she will not teach her children to be good at children. Liars, lies is always from the devil. So, you, you were to be a Muslim, and now you are out of Islam, and so all the garbage of Islam is out of your house. Muhammad, he yeah. says, the man, he can lie to his wife, and the wife, she can lie to her husband. That is invalid in Christianity. If a man, he cannot even trust his wife, he can trust who? If the wife, she can't trust her husband, she have to lie to him. 
So she have to trust who? Trust is the major thing in everything make us a human. If we are a human because we trust each other, we are not an animal. So if the whole, if the if the basics, you know, cells of the of the society, which is the family, is based on lies, so what kind of society the society will be? So I am happy for you. We pray, and I ask all the Christians here to pray for those two great couples who they are married and happily, and they have a great family, and both of them now they become a Christians. So we pray to the Lord to keep them safe and guide them, and maybe the Lord will make them bring more people to out of Islam. So they can be a great help to bring more people and receive the blessing of the Lord. For remember the Lord, He gave us talent. Some of us, we hide it because we are afraid, because simply we are selfish. And some of us, we multiply the talent. And this is a parable in the Bible. So if I come one day back to Jesus and say to him, well, I'm a Christian prince, I believe only in you. He will say to me, why you did not bring anyone with you? What you did in your life? So you live 70, 80, 100 year, you did what? You were just making coffee, drinking tea, watching TV? So now, my friend, because now you are an ex-Muslim and your wife is an ex-Muslim too, you have a great opportunity to bring more people to receive great blessing from the Lord. So you save more Muslims. Yes, brother. Uh, by the grace, grace of the Lord, grace of Jesus, thank you so much, of course. All right. Well, happy to have you. And uh, for those who are listening to us in YouTube, uh, if somebody can post the link of our brother here in YouTube, uh, so they can, you know, let me see if I can post it myself. Uh, for those who are in YouTube. This is a channel. Uh, let, let, let me put the channel here and I will post the link for you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, brother. I just started, just started two weeks ago. You have a dog? Yes. Don't you know what Allah will do to you now? <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, he, okay, but you know what? You are you are still in the safe side. You have a white dog, not a black dog. <laughs> what a crazy garbage cut. Anyway, guys, so this is a link. Let me post it for you in YouTube and Rumble. If you like to subscribe to them and support them, give them your blessing and your support so we can... Uh, you know, support each other as always. All right. Thank you, brother, for being here. May the Lord bless you, and I hope to hear from you soon with good news. Thank you, brother. Everyone have a good night. Bless you. May Take the Lord care. be with you. Guys. Take so care. Much for your time. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Take care, guys. So, guys, I'm not going to stay longer. Today we have a good time, and uh, uh, again, if you like to support our friend here, you can see, uh, you see the name of the channel. You can look for it. Uh, he have only 210 subscribers. So let us see by tomorrow how many he will have, right? Show your support. Don't be a Christian by name. All right? They hate him because of Jesus. They hate him because of Jesus. And whoever they hate him because of Jesus, you should love him. They hate him and they hate his wife because of Jesus. So you should give them extra support. Way, way better than me. All right. So I want to say thank you all of you for being here today. It's time for me to go as long as no, as you know, I have four wives and I have to do some homework. I am used to be profit part time. This is why I cannot do like 13 women at the same time. So I do four at the one time, only four. <clears throat> if I became a prophet in the future, if Allah chose me and he sent me an angel to squeeze me three times to activate my prophethood and to the point I cannot breathe. And then he said to me, read. And then I turned to me, I do not know how to read. Then I will become a prophet and I will become sexually active. Very good in boom, boom. And I will get a big certificate from Allah. Say to me, you are my prophet, and your penis is so good to be true. True story. Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him. Never lie. But Islam without lies dies. <laughs> all right. See you all. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord, and God is good.
So is Jesus.